Welcome to Highway Homestead. I know here lately it seems like all I'm doing is putting out do-it-yourself videos, but uh, we have that going on right now, so I'm gonna capitalize on it. We got our second batch of meat birds out last night, and uh, we've got 112-ish there. We have one five-foot long feeder. So what I'm doing tonight, I'm gonna make a very quick, I'm making two very quick feeders, and I'll show you how to do it uh, in synopsis. Well, the roosters are crowing, gonna rise and shine. Daylight's a burning, ain't got a lot of time. When the day is over and the work's all done, we'll sing and dance and have a little fun. A four inch drain pipe. This is the same uh, material I used to make the goat feeder. I've got it cut to five inches in length. Two end caps, some uh, PVC cement. Now here I have four six inch long blocks that I've cut, made uh, into V's to hold it. And uh, I'll show you how to do it. It literally will not take long at all. I have, okay, I have the uh, ends on, I have a cap on this end and a cap on the other end. Just a smart idea is I put one little hole here so that when I push the second cap on, I wasn't fighting a pressure boundary and that way the air could escape uh, when I push that on it. Now I'm going to cut this in half using my table saw. All of this I've used my drill and my table saw. That's all I've used. I made these stands using my table saw. Very quick like I said. Two cuts, one on each half. Uh, cut it one way. My table saw is not long enough to cut through both sides at once but I cut, cut it twice and I got two halves here. Now I'm going to screw in those uh, blocks as feet. The finished product, I have them screwed in. The feet, you can see from here, it's all done. Put that on there like that. We will feel, fill it up with some feed and give it to the chicks for test. Do they need to hurt with something today or no? I don't know. Okay, I'm not that girl. Not that girl. They're figuring it out. And then we have the rest of them. 